Alrighty, hello YouTube, ZShadow64 here, back again with another Clash for Dawn tutorial video. And this time we're going to be discussing how the guild battle system works. Now before we actually get into the tutorial, I would like to congratulate the Alliance for taking the number one spot in the uh, previous guild battle. And I'd also like to congratulate MIA for defeating us. It was quite an epic battle, so thank you everybody in Nightcore who showed up. But uh, let's go ahead and get into the uh, tutorial here. So at the bottom right hand corner of the screen you will notice that it's currently 1950 server time and the uh, the guild battle notice is actually sent out at 1955 so if you accept that notice you will be taken to the battlefield. If you decline it you unfortunately will not be able to attend the guild battle. At, uh, at 20 server time is when the guild battle actually takes place and that is on Saturdays only and um, so if you uh, if you decline the notice or you were not put on a team for guild battle you can still choose to spectate the battle and gain exp so in order to uh, in order to spectate you do need to be at your guild camp and uh, the notice to spectate will actually pop up as a button on the um, on the upper left hand side of the screen. So you do want to make sure that everybody shows up 30 minutes, well, 20 to 30 minutes beforehand. That way, um, if you're not on a team, you can be put on a team. So make sure you notify your guild leader um, that you need to be put on a team and uh, chances are there will be somebody who didn't show up to the guild battle so uh, that person can be swapped out uh, in order for you to take their spot instead if you uh, if you were not put on a team so in a second here I'm actually going to show you how to make sure that you have been placed on a team already and this is also for guild leaders to explain how to do the swapping. So open up your hub and hit the social menu here. And that will take you to here. So just open up your guild tab on the right hand side of the screen. And then you're going to go ahead and hit guild battle at the bottom of the screen there. So once you hit guild battle, it'll take you to the guild matchup screen. This shows um, uh, who's fighting who. And then at the bottom of the screen, you'll notice the fighter list button. So go ahead and hit that. And that will open up this menu here. So this is uh, this shows all three teams. And you can uh, switch between the teams on the right-hand side of the screen. You'll notice all three tabs. So this is where your players are going to go to check if they've been placed on a team or not. And this is also where the guild leader goes to um, swap the players out. So at the bottom left hand corner of the screen, um, just a little side note, it does show how many players are currently online between all three teams. So what you're going to want to do is uh, go ahead and select a player. So for this example I've chosen Woody and then uh, you're going to want to hit the manage team button and that opens up this menu here and from here you can choose to put Woody or whoever you've chosen on a different team so you can choose to put them on team one or um, or team two it, it really just depends whatever team the person's on but you can uh, you can choose to swap them between um, the two different teams and you can also choose uh, to swap, um, let's say Woody wasn't online. I could choose to swap him out for somebody that is online in the non-fighting category. So uh, this is actually why you want people to show up 30 minutes beforehand because unfortunately in the non-fighting category it doesn't show if the player is currently online or offline. So, uh, as you can imagine, that makes things much more time-consuming because uh, the only way to really know the quickest is to have somebody tell you that they have not been placed on a team 
and then um, what I like to do is I like to inspect that person and uh, find out what their score is and that makes it a lot easier to find instead of going down the whole list and looking for a specific name because as you can see it's not even in alphabetical order so that uh, so searching um, for their score makes it a little bit easier to find the person's name but that's how you go about swapping out people who are not online and obviously you want to do that otherwise you'll end up um, with a, a lot of players who are not uh, not online in your teams and that's actually what happened to me I didn't know how to use the guild system in my first guild battle and I 90% uh, of my players in my three teams were offline so I only had about five to ten players actually in the guild battle and as you can imagine that was a big embarrassment and uh, it was pretty funny the um, it was pretty much a free win for the other team so hopefully this video pre prevents that from happening and uh, that's why you want to make sure um, you have your guild mates uh, go through this system here and make sure that they've actually been placed on a team and if not just have them send you a PM or a message in guild chat saying hey I'm not on a team and uh, then you can go ahead and sw swap out inactives for that person and now I've actually fast forwarded to the guild battle here and um, <clears throat> at this point I've already accepted the notice and at 20 server time um, players who did not participate in the guild battle will be able to go ahead and spectate it now and you can actually see whoops um, Oh, I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually taunting uh, MIA here. Unfortunately, that taunt was in vain. But uh, at the top left-hand corner of the screen where my power normally is, you can actually see how many people are currently spectating the match. And above, you can see the um, current resource scores above and which battle you're in. So this is currently battle one because um, I was on team one. So if you were in Team 2, it would be Battle 2, and Team 3, Battle 3, for instance. So, uh, like I said, there is a total of three battles happening at once here. Uh, my strategy is actually to balance each team out evenly. Make sure you have, um, you know, uh, really good healers for each team as well. But uh, you, can, you can go about doing whatever strategy you want. If you want to... Um, uh, have all your strongest players on one team or uh, balance them out between two teams you can do that there's a bunch of different ways to go about it but I find the best way is to um, have balanced teams so um, let's go ahead and uh, skip forward here to when the battle actually uh, actually starts okay so alright 30 seconds and nine seconds all right so oh another thing to note you have the uh the kills at the right hand uh side of the screen here now you do get bonus gifts for actually being in the top three and i'll actually uh explain that a little bit further towards the end of the video here so you do want to make sure you're trying for those kills as well so let's go ahead and pause it right here and you'll notice a small circle at the bottom of the screen and a larger circle to the right of the screen. Now these are called resources. So the smaller circle is called a normal resource and uh, as long as you're standing in one of these circles you'll see a gathering resource bar. And let's go ahead and fast forward here so I can show you that bar. So there you go. You got the gathering resource bar. Now once that bar fills up, you get points. Now there is two small circles. You can actually see the, um, the second small circle at the top right of the screen. Uh, the small circles are located nearest each base uh, that you start out at. And um, those are called the normal resource. So... 
Every time that gathering resource bar fills, you get two points for standing on a normal resource. And then you got the rich resource, which I'm standing on right now. Uh, that's the giant circle. And for standing on this one, you get three points every time that bar fills up. And you can also get one point every time you kill a player. So that's all. The, there's three ways to get points, and that's all of them that I just explained right there. So one point for killing a player, um, two points every time the resource bar fills up on a small circle, and three points every time the resource bar fills up on the rich resource, which is the big circle. <clears throat> so that's... Uh, Oh, actually, uh, that was something else I wanted to talk about as well. So let me uh, let me back up here, actually. And you'll notice when I die, which is relatively quickly, uh, MIA actually had some pretty powerful players, but you'll notice when I die, the gathering resource changes to interrupted. And that means I did not get any points at all. So there's two ways it can get interrupted. Either you die or you walk out of the circle. And once you die, you have the option to instantly respawn at your current location for 20 gems. Or you can choose to revive in the portal for free and run back out there and try again. So... Uh, now, if you're, if you're getting your butt kicked... I recommend trying for these smaller circles, which is eventually what I have to do here. And um, if that don't work, just try and get as many kills as you can. Because a lot of times you will get spawn, spawn camped. And as long as you're at least getting kills for your team, you're getting points. And it's all about the points. Because at the end of the match, um, it's going to tally up. Uh, the total points from all three battles. So all, all three of your team's points will be added together. That's why it's important, even if you're getting your butt kicked, to still try and get as many points as possible. Because at the end of the, at the, end of the battle, the uh, guild who had the highest total points between all three of their teams wins and moves on to the next battle. There's a total of three battles. And I'll show you the rewards for getting um, for getting first, second, or third place. And as you can notice here, um, you have uh, the the top killers in the battle as well. So as long as you um, get in the top three, you'll get bonus uh, bonus gifts. So let's go ahead and um, fast forward now to the end of the battle, and I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you that how that works. So let's see here. So if you look at the um, at the top right of the screen, it shows the time remaining for the battle. So let's go ahead and uh, here we go. So eight seconds left. And this is pretty enough. Pretty important so as soon as time runs out uh, there will be a system message that announces the guilds that move on to the next battle so as you can see the alliance um, uh, Russ's however you say that MIA and war machine all advance to the uh, to the next battle and it also shows how much XP you earn. So you do earn quite a lot of XP as well. It uh, shows your total scores, the amount of points that you earn um, for, for this particular match, and um, the, the top killer. So uh, quite, a, quite a lot of useful stats there. And then you can choose to close it and uh, leave the battle and await the next battle. So even if you lost, um, you can still spectate the next two battles that take place. So just keep that in mind. And also, 
Another side note, in order to even participate in the guild battle, you have to have joined the guild before Friday. Um, if you joined after Friday, unfortunately, you will not be able to participate in the guild battle, and that's obviously a good thing because you don't want people swapping um, in and out of guilds just before the battle is about to start. So keep that in mind. Now, another thing I wanted to show you, and I'll leave a link to this in the description, is uh, this site here. This actually gives really, uh, really detailed information about the guild battle. Um, so you, you do want to read up on this if you want to know a little bit of um, extra details about how things work. It's like, for instance, each battle lasts 20 minutes. Um, and if you were in that top three list that I was showing you earlier for the most kills... Uh, you can get extra rewards. So no matter what, um, as long as you are in the top three, you will obtain a giant fruit, which makes you bigger. Um, and you can also get totem stones, which I talked about in uh, in a other one of my other videos. Um, that just gives you thirty exp towards your uh, towards your totem stones. And um, if we look down here, you can show. Uh, or you can see what everybody in your guild will receive for at least participating in the guild battle. So as long as you participate in, uh, in the guild battle, you will at least get 10 gold weapon scroll fragments. And you need at least 60 to create the guild weapon. So uh, unfortunately not everybody who participated will receive a fragment. Uh, because like I said, um, 45 people max can join. And, um, well, I guess if you, uh, if you get the number one spot, everybody could technically receive a weapon scroll fragment. But other than that, it's not really too fair a system. Not everybody will be able to receive a, a fragment. So that's why you want to make sure you, um, you know, you, you try very hard to get as many kills as you can because, um, well, I'll actually go through and explain that. But uh, if you look here, if uh, if you were like the Alliance, for instance, who won the uh, won the last guild battle, they actually received sixty um, gold weapon scroll fragments. And um, if you were the s second place, you got forty. Third to fourth receives twenty. And as long as you at least participated, uh, you'll at least get the ten uh, ten scroll fragments. But let me go ahead and pause the video and I'll uh, jump into the game here and explain how to go ahead and distribute those fragments. Alrighty, I am back. So to go ahead and distribute the fragments, you want to open back up the guild battle menu. And after the, um, after the guild battle, uh, this button at the bottom will actually change to the reward distribution button. So you can actually open this. Now you will actually get a notification at the end of the three battles to distribute these as well. So you won't have to go through and through everything I did to get this menu. It'll actually just pop up as a notification. But if you did close it, this is how you go ahead and reopen it. And anybody in the guild can actually go through and open this menu as well to see who got what medals. Or, sorry, not medals, um, fragments. Who, who, um... All received a fragment so uh, as you can see here it only shows the guild uh, guild battle kill count I wish it actually showed how how much score you actually received but for now this is all we got to go by so that's how I uh, go about distributing the metals um, another uh, Another little thing to note as well, uh, like I said, this is really an unfair system, but um, even if you did not receive a medal, or sorry, I don't know why the heck I keep calling these medals, even if you didn't receive a fragment, just keep in mind that, you know, there's there's always going to be another guild battle so you know you'll always have a chance at getting more so don't be very disappointed if you don't receive one 
Um, I'm sure your guild leader still appreciates you, uh, you know, trying, giving it your best. Uh, and, you know, it's, don't, don't ever be a poor sport either. Uh, you're not, you're not always going to win every single guild battle. So don't go bashing the guild that defeated you or don't bash the guild that you defeated. Um, you know, I'm sure, uh, sure your guild leader will say the same thing. You know, it's, uh, there's, there's just no sense being a poor sport. Everybody's going to hate you if you do. Nobody's going to want to join your guild. And it just, uh, it's just embarrassing, really, if you're, if you go ahead and, you know, bash other guilds. You don't, you don't want to do that. Um, you'll always get another chance at being able to get the, uh, at being able to get the fragments, you know. And there's a bunch of other ways to go about getting gold gear as well. You can, uh, you can participate in the demon raids and, um. If you defeat a level 70 demon, you have a chance at getting a, uh, a gold scroll. Um, yes, it takes, uh, it takes a little bit longer, but, you know, the, like I said, there's always, always another way to get the, uh, get the scrolls, and it's already enough pressure on the guild leader enough to try and distribute the, uh, the fragments, you know, fairly, so don't, don't you know, put more pressure on your guild leader than what's, uh, what's already on him. You know, guild leaders have a lot to, quite a lot to deal with, so they, they, that's the last thing they want to hear is you complaining that you didn't receive, <laughs> receive a fragment, you know, and it's just, uh, it just creates a lot more tension, um, within the guild, so, you know, the, you know, I, at least, I understand that everybody who participated tried, you know, so if you don't receive a fragment, don't take that as, you know, an offensive, um, an offensive gesture or whatever, you know, I still appreciate you for joining and, you know, trying, but like I said, until they, uh, until they update the, um, the system or whatever, to actually show score as well i don't think it's ever going to be completely fair to be honest and i really wish that uh that they would show who's uh who's online in the non-fighting category i don't know why they don't do that either that makes it even twice as difficult on the guild leader to try and uh hurry up within 30 minutes and um create the teams and everything so the guild battle system it still needs a lot of work and it's very, very complicated, so I'm hoping that this video will help um, any of the guild leaders out there to better understand how this system works. So, so yeah, it's, uh, it's a pain in the butt, but it's fun. It really is, and I, uh, I hope everybody enjoys the guild battles in this game, um, despite some of, the, uh, some of the flaws in it. But... Uh, anyway, guys, I don't really think there's much else to say here. Um, I will be making more uh, more videos on other systems in here, such as uh, Demon Raid, um, how to go about upgrading gear and all that. So there's quite a few stuff I still still need to do videos on. So I, I look forward to those. This video I actually already um, uploaded, but unfortunately... It failed to record the audio, so I had to do it all over again. And I, I apologize if I sound, um, if my voice is, sounds like crap and I sound tired and everything. That's because I spent like 30 minutes to an hour doing the previous video and found out that, um, you know, I had to redo it all over again. But I hope you guys appreciate this and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.